We are picking up pretty much right where we left off. This is the Nerve 1 in our crew. You might recall from last week that we have fired them off. And they are going to be exiting Kerbin's SOI just temporarily. And uh, orbiting the sun for a little bit. That's that's really the plan there. Uh, and the, this, is, this is for science. That's all this. So we're going to start off with that. And I'm going to stay with the kind of science stream, start thinking about, or theme, sorry, not stream, but theme. <laughs> um, and really looking at trying to get uh, more science to happen in this playthrough. Uh, and trying to collect more science so that we can unlock more stuff. So they have a bit of a sloppily put together kind of science kit at the front with science equipment that I have thus far unlocked. Uh... This was pretty ill-conceived. <laughs> One of the things I'm... I don't know if I'm worried about it, but I'm, I'm thinking about electricity. Uh, in With Kerbalism, the materials bay here does a lot of... Elect takes a lot of electricity to run. I'm pretty sure this thing can handle it, but... Well, we'll find out one way or the other. I think it has enough electric charge in order to do that. And sorry, I got everything's in the wrong spot here on my wind. There we go. <laughs> and uh, the other thing, too, if we look over here at their supplies, they got 76 days of food. They got 75 days of oxygen, but it only says almost 17 days for water. Now their water stores are filled up. It should be longer than that, but I think the reason why it's as low as it is is because they do have a water scrubber aboard. Oh, the water scrubber requires ammonia. Uh oh, there might be my mistake. I am just realizing that they have no form of ammonia. Oh no, it produces ammonia. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, no. We might be okay. Let's go back to this. The water recycler takes electric charge and waste water and produces ammonia and carbon. Yeah, so, and it produces water. And I think because there is no waste water on here, we left it all back at the station. I just don't think that is being included in the calculation for, whoops, the number of days of water that we have. So I think we're okay. <laughs> We'll have to wait and we'll have to find out. But in the meantime, um, there's really not much else to do but just to start time warping these folks out there. Uh, you have an alarm set up. Why don't I get that? I'll go a little quicker than this. Getting Going through all of our radiation belts. And I'm keeping an eye on the water. Oh, the water now says perpetual. See that? I think the water recycler just kicked in. Oh, why did the time warp stop? I'm noticing water now says perpetual. Uh, no more electric charge on the Mimis gateway. We lost control. Oh, that's the space station these folks left from. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, we're getting a coronal mass ejection. What we can do, this vessel is shielded. But one thing that actually does help with coronal mass ejections is if you put the bulk of the spacecraft between you and the sun, it does count, it does reduce the amount of energy these folks are going to be exposed to. All right. All right. Again, let's get out there. We got seven. Oh, we keep getting the stoppages because of the coronal mass ejections. I don't know if there's something wrong in my... I guess I get a lot of coronal mass ejections. It seems like I get a lot more than what I should. Let's curb it in the moon out that way. We're doing okay. We're fine. Yep, we got another coronal mass ejection. So the other one's gone by and now we're in a... Uh, maybe I should look at the Kerbalism settings and try and figure that out. Okay, we are almost out of Kerbin's SOI. There's Kerbin way out that way. Alarm is about to go off. Okay, that is cool. Let's get rid of the alarm clock. Now, let's go into here. The Kerbalism... It's been a while since I've done this series and talked about the science, and to be honest, I had to remind myself of it. Kerbalism works a little bit differently with how the science works. Um, 
over here it's telling me what science equipment I have and how much science I've collected. We're still in high space above Kerbin, so we've collected all of it. But what we can do is put these all on. There we go. I just noticed I got two... Oh, that takes a little bit to turn on. That's all that is. I got a two crew report, so it's just telling me I can't have two crew because I got two cabins. So they're all in waiting mode, and they're just sitting there waiting for the science. So nothing is being collected yet. But once we are out of here, what do we got left? Oh, we still got four minutes left. Okay, let's... Let's get out there. And there they go. They all should be... Oh, not all of them turning on. Let's get back to here. There we go. Uh, we have already got a telemetry report. We've already got a material study. And we've already we got a lot. We got a mi I got a mystery goo from around the sun. I don't know. When did I do that? But we are collecting a crew report. And when did I get a material study? Oh my gosh, this was a colossal waste of time bringing that thing out here. I just need to bring the Kerbals out here. Maybe I should be checking these things before I use them. Okay, so that's... Uh, everything doesn't matter. The crew report matters. And uh, we'll do an EVA report. And we do have our EVA science kit. Hello, Tunono and Jusk. And welcome. Okay, so... There is no materials bay. There is no... Okay, fine, fine. Be that way. Okay, we got a scientist here somewhere. All my electricity worries were for nothing. Let's put this on data. We can see what we are collecting. A crew report. So we got ourselves, let's see, EVA here. And... Why is he on a... Oh, my SAS is off. There we go. Okay. And we can do an EVA report. Clearly a surface sample. It takes 44 seconds to collect the EVA report. And I'm being asked, what are we doing? We're trying to collect science. We are now in orbit about the sun. And Dan here is, there's Kerbin way down there. And Dan here is collecting science for us. He is almost, almost done. And we should also get an EVA experiment kit. So not as mild. 25 science, I guess that's nothing to sneeze at whenever I get from the crew report. How is she doing for radiation out here? Well, it seems to be alright. I don't see a warning. Okay, so that is now done. So let's go down here. There should be... Yep. A little kit here. Pin that. Pin that, open up her inventory. Where is inventory right there? She won't need the parachute right yet. And instead, what we're gonna get is our EVA kit. And where is perform EVA science? And that's gonna be pretty much it for science. So I thought, okay, I, I must have at some point launched a probe with a materials bay and a goo on it and brought it back to Kerbin, which makes sense that I would do that. I just didn't think I was that foresightful. <laughs> okay, so most of this equipment is really rather useless. That's okay. Okay, let's uh, get her back inside. We're done. Actually, maybe we should get her parachute back before I get too far carried away with this stuff. Parachute. Kit. I'm paranoid about taking off her jetpack. <laughs> that would be bad. Alright, where is... There we here. Oops, I missed. And we shall board. Okay, so how are we doing here? We oh we yeah we can transmit all this stuff. I think it's all been collected. Look over here. No, we're still doing a crew report. Let's get another 25 seconds on the crew report. And the nice thing too about Kerbalism is that you can transmit everything except for actual samples, which we're not doing any, like the materials bay and that would be samples. Okay, uh, we're gonna 
Where are we at here? Five seconds left on the crew report. And then all that science is going to get transmitted back. You can see it kicking up here. 17 science have been transmitted so far. But let's talk about getting themselves back to Kerbin. So we are now in orbit about the sun. And this always sort of... I always get myself a little bit confused. It seems to me... Let's add a node. It seems to me I should go towards Kerbin. That seems to me to be the sensible thing to do. So that would be radial inwards, and it looks like a bit of retrograde. That makes some sense. So a little that way, a little that way. Let's focus our, and get an intercept again. And I could be just completely out to lunch here with how to do this. Oh, no, I'm getting my intercept again right here. Yep, okay, so that means I should be seeing something around Kerbin. Focus view. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Uh, let's put it back onto the maneuver node, and let's see if we can do this with the minimal amount of fuel. The burn's still not coming up for another 18 minutes, so... Oh, okay, so that's, that was the wrong idea. So actually, retrograde's the wrong idea. Prograde gets me closer in. So let's zero this out. Or maybe it's just, you know what, let's just keep doing it this way. I do not want to come in on any kind of funky angle here. Be nice to come in equatorial-like, or relatively close to equatorial-like. Okay, radial seems to have the most effect. Okay, we'll do this and then we'll we'll figure something out. We got a lot of fuel, we should be fine. Okay, so let's see. We'll make this as equatorial as we can. Without spending a whole crap ton of fuel. Alright. You know what, we'll do this, we'll make an equatorial, uh, we, we got this. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's keep our, because it's not going to take too much to get a capture, let's keep this about 50 claw, I, I want to get, now nah, let's go with 40, let's, let's, I'm going to split the difference, I'm going to go with 48, 48, there we go, I don't know why I'm picking that number. So we'll pick up a periapsis of about 48 kilometers. We'll get ourselves a little capture using the atmosphere a bit to slow us down. And then we'll uh, fix this inclination. Our target, of course, is going to be the station here. Which one? This one, our Mimis Gateway Station. We're going to set that as our target. But uh, let's, yeah, let's do this. So let's bring the maneuver closer. I've lost track of what my... See, we can take a little bit off of this. There we go. Let's do it. Okay, so... I just realized as well what I've been completely forgetting to use because I've been so used to playing stock is in... I got my KOS script. I should have my X-Man script aboard. Well, let's just see. List. X-Man. List, period. Oh my gosh, there it is. Yep. So run the X-Man script. X-Man is execute maneuver executor thing. So this is like me not having to do anything. It's going to do it for us. It's taking control. All right. And sort of the questions are coming up in the chat. Do we, should we, if, if, if you want to get back into the game, should we wait for KSP2? 
I would always advise play this now. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Just because... Um, I know KSP2 is now 2023, but it has been pushed back a number of times. So when in 2023 or even... I mean, it was originally, I think, 2020, if I'm not mistaken. So it's already been pushed back a few years. All right, here we go. Burning, burning, burning. Is this throttle on full? It sure is. Oh, my gosh. Not a trivial burn. And I would also strongly suspect that a lot of the skills that you build in KSP1 will transfer over to KSP2. I mean, they're still sticking to the whole Newtonian mechanics, do it right type face, uh, space thing. So a lot of those mechanics just flat out aren't going to change. Let's see how our, we're doing here. You know, what I didn't look at is exactly when are we going to be here? Uh, in 14 days. Okay, we can do 14 days. So let's a little bit. Um, I think I said 48. I want to keep this at. I don't know why. 48. Oh, let's back off a bit, maybe. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Look at numbers. 48. There we go. So we're coming in 48 kilometers. Uh, I just really pushed that one out of my back end. Getting the spam bots again. All right. So let's arrange this for our solar panels. And when is our SOI change coming up? Add the SOI change on oh, just 23 minutes. I see a notification here. Some Oh, world's first milestones, of course. We have performed a spacewalk. Uh, in orbit about the sun. Yes, we did. Okay, let's get into... There, we are now back in Kerbin's SOI, and we should be setting an alarm for periapsis. Give me about 15 minutes warning. So that's in 14 days, 2 hours, and 55 minutes. And I should have a time to atmosphere here. Yeah, it should be good. I'm going to quick save anyway. We are down. Oh, again, coronal mass ejections. I really got to get into the settings. I mean, we're getting one of these like every few days. That certainly can't be the right frequency for this. We're coming for you, Kerbin. You can sell how high above Kerbin's equator we are. We're going to be making some inclination changes for sure. Yeah, I could go to uh, seeing in the chat about the spam bots. I mean, I don't want to make it so that only subscribers can chat, but maybe that is a is an option. Is in order to chat, you have to be a subscriber. I might be forced to do that if uh, just because of the spam. And that might be, what are you gonna do? I still find it bizarre that people even are interested that that spam even works. Okay, we are almost in the atmosphere. So let's get ourselves set up here. 
Uh, get everything down. That should be zero. There it goes. I think I'm going to lose this whole package at some point too and let it burn up in the atmosphere. All right. And hopefully that's gotten some decent experience on these folks too. I mean, going out and orbiting the sun for a little bit. Maybe we get some level threes out of this. All right. So what is, we got a minute and 15 seconds to periapsis and hopefully things won't get too hot. I'm leaving it up a little higher than I normally would only because I want to keep my apoapsis up fairly high. And that really is just to facilitate a cheaper inclination change. Well, thank you, Beta Bray, thanking me for the tutorials. I'm enjoying making the new ones, the contract ones. Okay, here we go. And I'm really watching this. I might end up drawing. It's already inside Mimis's orbit. Let's drop the uh, air brakes here for a second. Just to reduce. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just keep the air brakes down just to reduce drag. I don't want this to come down too far. I want to keep it up pretty high so that... Uh, so that the higher the apoapsis is, the slower the inclination change. We're already pretty much right around the moon's orbit. Ah, oh well. Should still be pretty good. Okay. All right, we have just reached our our ap or our periapsis. Sorry, so we're on our way back up again. How much science did this end up producing, by the way? Only 57.5 science from that little venture. I don't know. Oh, guess. And some experience for my Kerbals. I guess that ain't nothing. All right, so what is we're at 4,000 kilometers here. Hopefully our inclination change won't be too expensive. The, actually, the other option I have, I never do this, but I always forget, neglect to do this, but you can use, roll this way a bit. You got to be a little careful for heating, but you can affect, oh no, I am in a retrograde orbit. I am in a retrograde orbit. That is not good. You can't affect your inclination through just adjusting your attitude here a little bit. It's changing it a smidge. I'm just looking at my inclination. It's 133 degrees. Okay. That is not good. Was not paying enough attention to all that. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Oh, we're out of the atmosphere anyway. Okay. All right, let's see if we can fix this. That was bad. That was bad. Okay, uh, so... Add a maneuver. And we want our... Incl oh, we got to flip it all the way around like, like this sort of a deal. Nope, the other way. And then some of this, and some of this, and some of this, and some of this, and some of this. <laughs> what are we adding up to? 700? Oh my gosh, I don't like this. Okay, where is, here's our, there's one thing we're really going to watch. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Oh, poo. I should have been paying way more attention than I was.
You know, this is mostly going to be retrograde. I don't know why I'm... Whoops, this way. Okay, this might turn into even more of an adventure than I originally planned because it looks like to me this inclination change is more than what I bargained for. Okay, I gotta think about what I'm gonna do with this. Oh, what a dummy. Because I came in, didn't pay what attention to what side of Kerbin I came down on. Because I'm stupid. Like, I am pretty darn close to getting the... Inclination right, but there's just... Okay. Um... What I think I shall do is, sorry, I am definitely going to have to change the uh, chat settings on this. What I think I shall have to do is do whatever inclination change I can and then get, well... I have options. I got options. Okay. Uh, that, this might end up becoming what this whole stream is, is how to deal with this situation. Okay, so first of all, these guys only have 553 meters per second, so they can't do the burn I even have in here right now. So I think my best plan is to do whatever plane change I can that I can afford. Whoops, this way and leave them in a stable orbit. What's my periapsis at with that? That's no good. It's not far off. Okay, so here, that's 78 kilometers there. Uh, that's not quite there yet. Oh my, it's like everything I do just undoes. Am I over? I'm overdoing. Okay, I'm getting very... Okay, let's... Uh, okay. I'm going to start this maneuver over again. I think I've... Just delete it. I want to do whatever inclination change. I'm going to have to rendezvous something with it. I got an idea what I want to rendezvous with it. Add a maneuver. Okay. And what I'm going to... This has really got to be mostly retrograde to get this to work. To get it to flip. Nope, that's the wrong way. Having better success doing it like this than I was before. I want to do as much of an inclination change as I can and still leave myself in a stable orbit is what the plan is. Okay, what is that? 818, I think I might be just doing something like this. Let's tweet this one now. So... So let's get this down to about 80 kilometers.
All right, so I'm getting my inclination. That's an 800 meter per second burn, getting my inclination down to 19 degrees. It's not quite enough to rendezvous with the station, and it's going to leave them with not a lot of fuel. But then we're going to send somebody up there. Why not prograde back to the moon? Oh, that's an option. I'm seeing that. Go to the moon, see if you can use the moon. To, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do I'm going to stick with what I'm going to do. I don't want to fart with this too much. But that's not a bad idea. Push this back out to the moon, see if you can get the moon to help flip you around. Ooh, now now I okay, we're going to I'm going to remember this 800 meter per second burn, which is how much about 672 in the retrograde direction. Okay, I'm going to try that. That's a really good idea there in the chat there. Uh Beta Bray. Thank you. Or beat it, Bri. Um, if I'm gonna do that, I gotta get my apoaps periapsis out of the atmosphere. Th it, there may not be a convenient moon encounter, but it's not a bad idea to see if we cannot use the moon to help facilitate this. I kind of wish I thought about that. Okay, let's see. So, set the moon as a target. And we'll go to that second maneuver. Push it ahead in orbit. Oh, this might take a long... Okay, whoa, 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 that's okay. Now, when's this second... Man... When are these going to happen? That's in five days. Well, that's not terrible. These guys are okay. Here's our moon encounter. Oh, for goodness sakes. Why won't you let me fo- Oh, I am focused on the moon. Okay. This may or may not be worth it. You know what? I think I'm, I'm. I think I'm gonna abandon this idea. I, I think it's a good idea. I just don't want to spend that much time with all of that fiddling. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna again put this maneuver back here. I remember this was like negative six seventy two. Put on all my radiation belts, and then uh, put back on the maneuver. Something like that. Okay. This is close enough to, I think, what I had. So this changes there. I got a periapsis 80 kilometers, nice and safe. Uh, inclination is about 17 degrees after this. Okay, let's do this burn. And, uh, okay, set an alarm. Run the maneuver, give me a few minutes warning. I'm not sh yeah. Okay. Okay, where are we here? Okay, we're almost there. 
Hello there, Infinite Horizon, and welcome. Yeah, I think Doggo, Doggo's mentioning the bots are unbearable. Uh, they seem to be getting worse. They seem to get better, and then they get worse. I, I don't quite get why this is such a problem for YouTube not to block these. So I think I will be probably changing the chat uh, between this and the next stream so that it is subscribers only. And hopefully that will start to cut these all down. And then you get messages from people that are completely legitimate, and then they get blocked. So I don't really understand what that's about, but it's... Who knows? YouTube doesn't make sense. Okay, let's just run that X-Man script again. I'm not sure. Philo's asking, uh, do you know what happened when you gained Delta V when, while you were burning last time? I, 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 I'm not sure if, what that's exactly in reference to anymore because I see that on so many different... I don't know. I've seen that happen because I was doing it in the atmosphere. I know that. Well, I was during an ascent. I was burning and actually gaining Delta V, but that's because the air was getting thinner and the engine was getting more efficient. So I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to, Philo. It's possible. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. I was reading the chat and time warping at the same time. That is a bad plan. Seems to be okay. <laughs> Being asked about space stations, and I'm, like, reading the chat, and I'm going, oh, well, okay. Hopefully this will still put us into something reasonable. Oh, my gosh. The visual, what visual mods am I using? Mostly uh, scatter and environmental visual enhancements. The whole list of mods is down there in the description. Okay. The Kerbals are now not out of Kerbin's SOI. They, these guys were briefly out of Kerbin's SOI. Now they are not. Okay, please make sure my periapsis ends up outside of Kerman's atmosphere, or else I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm not sure, Philo. I, I, I honestly can't remember what that was in ref like. I tend to sort of, weird things happen, they stick in my head for a little bit, and then if I don't, you know... Then they, they then they disappear. I don't I don't uh, I don't keep thinking about them too much. Put this on orbital. There we go. That's better. Okay. Time warp off. What do we end? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Inclination seventeen. Okay, it's good. It's good. Burns complete. That is closed. Let's. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to roll this so that I get some good solar panel exposure. Put the brakes on for these things again because it just looks better. And I got me an idea to try. And so they got 58 meters per second left. They are in a stable orbit, so that is good. Uh, and I got me an idea of how to rectify the situation 